Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to see one of the interesting tools called Ant. Ant is Apache provided build tool which can be used to create .jar file, .er file or .war file so, or any other archive file which can be used for the building the applications in the enterprise environment. So we cannot just directly jump into the production environment and write the script. So what we have to do first we have to develop those scripts in our local system. For example you are working in the windows system. Then we have to build those scripts in the windows system. Then you have to try to execute and make sure everything is working fine. And then you have to migrate your code to the environment. So the very first thing will come that is nothing but the how to set up your system so that you can run the and build tool or you can build a jar file so in order to achieve that there are two approaches very first approach is use the apache client provided by the apache or you can use the eclipse tool eclipse tool by default comes with the and build so we don't have to separately set up and tool but assume that if you are not using eclipse then you can use the and build tool where can you get the and build tool so you can go to the website called as a https ant.apache.org and you can go to the download page of that you will see if you go to the download page you will go to this binary distribution page and there you will see the various downloadable available the latest version is 1.10.1 .1. so of course these are growing over the period of time and this is the latest version you can if you want to use any earlier version you have the privilege to use that so you can just click this it will be zip file you have to just download and extract it once you download and extract or once you install it the very next point will come the setting the environment variable in order to set the variable uh, we have to go to the computer properties and there, there you will see the advanced settings properties and you will see the environment variables so I will set up the system variable so that any other users can available can use this uh, tool. So we are going to see all these steps how can we do that and how to set up and how to execute. So first we need the add installer so that you can get from the Apache tool. So we will first set up command line tool. There are two approaches as I said I can use the command line tool or I can use the eclipse. So first we will see the how to use command line the first approach. In that first approach we have to install the apache ant. Right now in my system I have installed 1.10.1. .1. Then we have to configure a java home and ant home. So java home should be the your JDK path and ant home will be the directory of your ant installation. So if you notice here let me show you so at home currently this is my location I have installed on the e directory software and an apache this is the directory where I have installed the apache and that is my ant home once you configure that there is one more parameter I would suggest to add that is the java home which is currently pointing to jdk 1.8 and there will be a path variable I just would like to show you how we have done so in the path variable also add this and directory e software and you can install the and on any location in the directory however I would recommend do not use a directory with a space sometimes it create the complications so I would recommend do not use a space between the directory name just plain directory name would be helpful so these are the parameters we have to set java home and home and probably path also so these are once you done with that the next thing is you have to make sure your and command works fine or not so how can we check that in order to check that you have to go to the com command line i'm going to the command line and just type a n t so right now you can see the it says uh, the build.xml file not exists so that means it actually and command is working but it is not having the 
proper build.xml file so let me give some sample so this file is does not exist oh sorry uh, let me give yeah so this file does not exist that's true so but and command is working if and is home is not set then you will not get this message rather you will get and command does not found kind of message you will get let's try some other option so if you want to get the help means what are the commands available for the ant you have to type ant hyphen help so there are so many commands available like projects help version if you want to get the version silent or you can give the build file name like you have to, if you want to pass the build file name you have to pass the hyphen build file and then file name for example something like this ant hyphen build file and here you have to file the give the file name so sample.xml does not exist that's true because it's not it's it's a just any example so you can get the all options for the and and also can be used for the deployment purpose so there are some command like the auto proxy or deploy will you will find the options so these are the very few option uh, this is the way you can verify the ant is configured or not next thing we have to build the build.xml file so we we set up the ant it is working fine but it we are not generated any <coughs> any jar file so what we need to do that in order to prepare a jar or er file we have to prepare a build.xml file so you can give any name to that xml file but the internal content should like should match like this it should have the xml uh, definition then the it it should start with the tag called as the project and there are some internal tags like here i am going to create something like this mdm hub hdd ue dot jar so this is my build.xml file which i already created so we should have the path of this directory so in order to get the path of this directory i have just you can you can create this build.xml file in notepad plus plus but i have used the eclipse tool which is a very convenient tool to create that in order to get the path i just copy this path and then we have to fire one command to generate the file so let me show you so this is my path where i would like to generate my jar file the jar file name should be, should look like this mdm U hub hdd ue dot jar so right now in my current folder i can't see the I cannot see that file because we are not generated how to generate the command it is mentioned in this powerpoint presentation the command should like should look like a and t hyphen build file and the name of that build file so let's go and fire this command and hyphen build file and the water copied content of the file so this is the way you have to give the command and click enter so this will compiling the code java code and it generated this file at this location you can see the location you can see if is there is any error then error will be listed here right now there is no error so how can we verify the file is generated so earlier it, we can't see this file right now it is just generated this file for us and it is working fine similarly if you want to see that in eclipse whether generated or not just to right click and refresh it so i can see this file let me delete this file so this is the way actually we will be able to generate the file using the and build tool which is command line tool what is the next option next option option as i said this is the th very three few steps like install apache and configure java home and home and execute the command in the step three for the eclipse you have to create a file definitely that is very basic requirement then right click on that file and run as an and bin and it will generate the and bin again a three step process so in order to pop in order to achieve that we have created the very simple file let me update slightly so that my build can generate 
So this is my build art file, which is already has shown in this tutorial. You can create any other file also. This is not mandatory. The file should be like this. You can create any other format also, but the, the context or the standard should be followed as per the and uh, definitions. In order to generate the jar file, er file or war file, you have to right click, run as a and build. So what this and does, so it actually uses the uses this file and execute all these command which are mentioned in this script so we can see that it compile the code if there is any error that will be mentioned in this error right now there is no error everything is compiled and the file is created at this directory if you can't see this file just do one thing just do the refresh <coughs> and the file you will be able to see and same file which we deleted we'll be able to see again new file because we built through the eclipse tool so these are the two ways by which you can achieve building a jar file in your windows system on the same line there are unix commands also available you need to use that to build the jar file in the unix environment i hope this tutorial is going to help you to set up your local system to build the files Thank you for watching my video and have a wonderful time.